Hi Kickstarter, my name is Justin French. I'm the creative director at Dream Harvest. We're super excited today to be sharing with you Failure, a neon-infused cyberpunk real-time strategy game. We wanted to combine elements from several types of games to create something truly unique, competitive, and with a deep narrative, and most importantly, a high level of polish. Failure is a game about strategy, discovery, and information. The power that information has over us and what people will do in order to control it. Hi, I'm Mocho, gameplay programmer on Failure. Failure can be defined in many ways, but at its core it's an RTS with one small difference to the traditional approach. You don't control your units. This simple premise creates many interesting strategic scenarios that players have to face and solve. In Failure, you use constructs and functions, abilities that alter the game board and influence the behaviours of all your units and constructs. Simply placing a construct at the right location can be devastating if your opponent doesn't respond in time. Anticipating your opponent's action is key. To add variety to each mission, you'll find that these will have a range of primary and secondary objectives that can change the tide of battle. Many of these will be tied to the narrative and are dynamic depending on which faction you're working for. Hi, my name's Lee. I'm the level and mechanic designer on Failure. One of the key aspects we've been working hard to build into Failure is for you to be able to customise your abilities to suit your playstyle. We call these abilities scripts. There are two types of scripts that you'll build your decks from. Functions, similar to magic abilities in other games, and constructs, buildings that can spawn units and which have their own abilities. You'll be able to take up to 10 into a mission from a selection of over 30 basic script types. Building and customization of your abilities is done in the compiler system. Within, you'll need to build your scripts and enhance them with mods and units that can greatly change what they're capable of doing. Any construct can have any unit assigned to it, and any function can have any mod assigned to it. Later in the game, you'll be able to create super powerful script types called fusions, ultimate functions and constructs that are built by combining two or more base scripts together. When you're in-game, you'll have to make tough decisions on how best to use your data, the resource that your base and resource nodes generate. Do you build or upgrade your buildings and units? It's completely up to you, and you're going to have to make quick decisions if you're going to win against your opponents. Hi, I'm Sven. I'm one of the programmers working on Pedro. I'm also working on graphics and AI. With the visual style of failure, we're trying to create a look that's different to other RTS games. The game is set within a digital metaverse, a cyberspace world, and we've taken inspiration from a range of sources while trying to give our own spin on the stylization. We're also trying to push the Unity engine as hard as possible, and what we're showing in this video is only the first step towards the final look of the game. With the AI, we're trying to push the envelope and give each unit type its own set of behaviors and uses. As you have no direct control over the units, it's important that the AI is as robust as possible, while also being careful that it's easy for you as the player to understand what a unit will do given a certain situation. When we came up with the original prototype for Failure, we knew that we wanted to create something different, something original, while tapping into the genres that we all loved. As a team with over 25 years of combined experience working in different sectors of the games industry, such as AAA, indie, and outsourcing. We have the experience to build a game from concept to finished product. But the one thing that's holding us back to create the game we truly want to make is the funding to bring people on board with the skills that we're lacking. People like artists and writers. We have these people lined up. People that have the confidence in our ability to deliver. People like Ryan Claverweed, UI artist at Bungie, and Anthony Johnston, writer of the acclaimed graphic novel series Wasteland, and he's also worked on games such as Dead Space, Binary Domain, Lord of the Rings Shadows of Mordor, and Zombie U. That's not the only reason why we've come to Kickstarter. We've come because we want to get your feedback. We want to interact with you, we want to answer your questions, and we want to create the best game we possibly can, all with your help. So take a look through the campaign page, take a look at the cool rewards, and back us, and let us know what you think. Thanks.